Hi everybody, I'm Robin and these are my reflections. And today I'm here to reflect on this one. This is the Creative Consciousness Healing Deck. It is a 44 card oracle deck and guidebook for self-healing and self-care by Joanna Wright. I am excited. This one was actually on my wish list and you know, it it's it just came out. It has to be maybe just a few weeks or months. So I would like to thank Andrew McNeil Publishing for sending this deck my way for review. I'm excited to have a chance to review this one. I actually got two decks from them. So um, this one is coming. I'm going to review this one next. So stay tuned if you want to see what I think about that one. But this deck is the one we're here to talk about today. I'm excited to see what's in this box. I have one other deck from them and it is the Believe in Your Own Magic Oracle deck by Amanda Lovelace. Now, Andrew McNeil Publishing has quite a few poetry books, and so I have a few of those. But as far as decks go, this is the only other deck that I have from them, deck four, and I really love the card stuff on this one. So I hope that they haven't changed that. But I will say that the box and, and the size, everything feels about the same there. And I'm only comparing it to this one because I know that a lot of people already have this deck because this deck has been out for a while, but this one is pretty new. So let's see what how this box is doing now it, we still have the thumb hole cutouts and it's pretty much the same box it's a little bit thicker than the other one but it's the same size as far as width and height we do have a small guidebook in here and the cards here wrapped in this plastic and then this is reinforced so your cards won't jump down inside or get stuck which is nice i like it when the boxes have this sort of reinforced so the back of the box, it says self-care has never been more beautiful. You are invited to wander down a unique path of intuitive healing and personal connection with this magically transformative oracle deck and guidebook, illustrating, illustrated and stunning art from celebrated author, illustrator, and healer guide, Joanna Wright. Complete with an illustrated deck of 44 cards, each containing a healing statement, a message explanation, a creative visualization and a journal prompt. Creative consciousness healing offers solace and direction in a time when we all could use some guidance to overcome anxiety and self-criticism and heal the past by creating a stronger relationship with our intuitive guided system and creative power. That's wonderful. So, all right, let's see what we got. So these are the backs of the cards. Looks like we have like an earthworm and some, a nature scene here. And then it's just plain. I like it. It's very simple and clear, clean. So this is a larger oracle size card. If you have the Believe in Your Own Magic deck, I'm just going to compare them. Yes, they are the same size um, as, the, as that other deck. So if you have this one, they are the same size same size the cardstock on the new deck is very it's thicker it's thicker than this one so it's a little bit thicker but same size and same coating so let's take a look at the guidebook first back ready and see what we have so she's also done a book called the magic of mindset each card in this deck is dedicated to connecting to your path of healing through your creativity and intuition. You will explore your relationship with your higher guidance and the parts of yourself that need love, attention, gentleness, and care. That's wonderful. So as someone who can easily get tangled up in my own brain forests, I found that learning creative and intuitive tools to find my way back to myself is an important part of my mental, emotional, and physical health. That's lovely. Um, so I'm excited to go through this and find out more about her journey, how to get the most out of this deck. Let's see what it says here. In this section, she mentions that we'll see repeating themes such as snakes and mushrooms. Um, she says to her, they are powerful symbols of the creativity, vulnerability, healing, and transformation that show up on our road back to ourselves. So that's interesting. I don't have any of the new mushroom tarot decks, but I wonder if they would pair well. She's given some questions to ask yourself when you're pulling from the deck which you could use as spreads in the reverse section she says she didn't include any reversal meanings but if you have a reverse card you can just consider it a nudge to look a little deeper 
Yeah, and then it gets straight into the cards. So we'll get into the guidebook a little bit more later where we'll look at, you know, we'll read, of course, from here. But that's it for the guidebook. So I'm just going to put that to the side for now. And let's take a look at these beautiful cards. So I definitely want to edge these because the backs are these this beautiful purple and then the front seem to be a little darker. So I think I'm going to give them a, a nice edge. I don't know what color. Maybe I like this uh, baby blue that the title is written in. So I may edge them in a baby blue, um, you know, or maybe a, a softer purple. We'll see. But I'm definitely going to be edging these. <laughs> I love the way they feel. Um, this is the same coating as the Believe in Your Own Magic deck. However, the cards are thicker. So they, they don't have that bouncy that the other cards did but um but they do have that same set of anti-scratch coating on them which i love the size so this is a normal size tarot card and so you can see that they are quite a bit bigger and taller and if you're looking at a sort of hay house size oracle card and you want to know um like how much bigger than that they are here's a hay house oracle card you can see that they are quite a bit taller and slightly wider than a Hay House um, Oracle card. So they're just a little bit bigger. I would say these are about the size of probably like a Blue Angel deck. Okay, let's get started. So we start with a keyword. We have a phrase and then a number here in this triangle down below along with the image. And so that's the, the anatomy of the card. And we start with composting, which I think is interesting because this card is about decomposing energetic cords. And since this is a deck about connecting to your true self and, you know, untangling some things that might be tangled up within you, um, I think composting, or maybe not composting, which is just a cute keyword, but decomposing energetic cords is profound and thought provoking when it comes to dealing with that sort of work. So I like that this is the first card right out of the gate. It feels like this is going to be interesting. And, you know, like I'm ready to go along for this ride, you know. <laughs> um, moon Shroom, Healing Old Brain Patterns. Yes. Grounding, Rooting in the Power of Your Purpose. rooting is this what's on the back of the card hang on yep that's exactly what's on the back of the card so the back of the card indicates grounding or rooting in the power of your purpose that's interesting i like that soft breeze allow flow and ease this artwork is gorgeous. It's very mm, story book, sketchy. Um, it almost feels like pastel, like dry pastel, you know, chalk drawings, almost like something you would as a child draw on a sidewalk or something like that. I don't know. I just, I really love it. And it really takes me back to childhood and I can almost smell the chalk. I don't know if people still use chalk but, <laughs> or if, I know people still use pastel, so this, it feels like chalk pastel to me, or it's giving me chalk vibes, you know, which takes me right back to my childhood. So I know this is supposed to be a creative consciousness healing deck, but it definitely gives me, it's taking me back to my childhood. So I'm thinking maybe it might be good for some inner child work. Water, experiencing the healing power of water rainbow boundary protecting your true self belonging healing in community healing in community yes and there is so much inspiration to be found in working and healing with others right moon belly healing your gut lovely that's the second moon I've seen, right? We've seen moon belly. What was the other moon card we saw? So moon shroom was healing old brain patterns. And now we have moon belly, which is healing your gut. Wild energy, focusing your creative power. And she is focusing her power. And here's the 
image again from the back of the card. It, it repeats. And she said that. She said that the snake and the mushrooms are going to repeat as a theme in the deck. Ice boundary. Emergency energetic boundary. Emergency energetic boundary. So we're quickly putting it up and icing. And so like she's normalizing this ice right because a lot of times when people say icing people out it that's can feel kind of negative and she's trying to bring that into the you know not necessarily into the positive but just making it so that to people can feel like you know if they need to do that they don't have to feel they don't have to feel like they're being unfair sometimes it's necessary to put up an emergency i like the way that she worded this emergency energetic boundary you know bountiful healing a scarcity mindset body connection reclaiming the power of your body light cleanse clearing stuck energy i like the way that they have um done the the script here some of these words are upper you know all capitals and some of them are lowercase and I think that's intentional um, because it's making my eyes jump to the words that are different so this in this card my eyes jump straight to the word safety because it's different and it's written in a different font and it's lowercase when everything else is uppercase so instead of, you know, self-trust, building safety within yourself, but my eyes go straight to safety. So then that makes me think, well, what makes me feel safe? And then how can I build that within myself? And here she is holding on to the, the safety and it's outside of herself and it needs to be within herself. Pink lion mood protecting little you so my my eyes went straight to little and then you so i'm like little you okay and there's a lion and you know lions are very fierce they're very protective but this is a pink lion so so this, the symbolism or i could i should say the words the words being used in addition to the artwork is very uh poetic almost it's it's intentional and poetic so you have to dig for it and like you would in a poem allow it to flow together violet flame burning away what no long what's no longer needed self-soothing creating safety and calm this is beautiful the water flowing over her hands and then all of these eyes and that looks like an eye in the background too it's very interesting i'd like to read the guidebook on that see what she has to say Moon path, taking the next right step. Boundary cloak, gentle loving protection. Moon pebbles, challenging yourself with compassion. <laughs> These people are cute and they're brown, which I'm here for. <laughs> Clarity, seeing and feeling the truth. She's got blue hair, she's flying, so you know they're supernatural some of these people but are they people you know like they, they it's almost as if they live in a dream state because we've got people flying we've got you know it, it's almost as if she's living in space or she's living outside of the world if this is the world she's up here in the stars right moon money allowing the flow of abundance schedule creating a relationship with time pink fruit realizing your dreams focus being deliberate with your attention past self connecting with what was Forgiveness, forgiving yourself at a cellular level. Wow. So 
not just saying it, not just writing it, not uh, deep down at a cellular level where not only does it affect you, but then it also would affect any offspring you have, right? It's in that DNA, it's in your DNA then. Deep sleep, resting and sleeping deeply. Higher self, connecting with your inner guidance. True voice, communicating with your truth. I also am, you know, they these beings could be women, but they also could be non-binary, some of them. Receiving, opening self to worthiness, like this one. I mean, I'm not seeing necessarily women here. I see being, I see souls, future self connecting with what's to come. Like this, like this person here. Simplify, clearing away what you don't need. And then everything in the background has been cleared to nothing but just the trees and herself and she's standing on a rock. It looks like a birch tree forest as well, which birch trees tend to be very light in color. Um, they are silver. Geode, transforming addictive thinking. Wow. I'm thinking about how geodes are formed. Um, a lot of pressure over a long period of time, right? So if we are continuously pressuring ourselves, continuously thinking about the same things or doing these same things over and over again that don't serve us, what comes of that? How can we break free of that? Pink bees, integrating your healing integrating you know i've been watching a lot about um, i've been watching a lot about dissociative personality disorder and they talk a lot about integrating personalities or integrating uh, personalities as a part of their healing i don't know why that made me think of that but pink seeds growth under the surface lots of pink pink seeds pink bees mushroom touch Decomposing shame. And that's the last card. Here's the backs again. Okay, let's give them a shuffle and pick a card and read from the guidebook and see what the guidebook has to offer. Let's see. So they are a little large and my hands are small. So being able to, and because they are thicker than the believe in your own magic, they, they're, not, they're not as bendy or mushy as those cards are. So for me, I can't riffle shuffle these the long way, but I'm going to try to riffle them sideways like I do with Oracle decks. Yep. And they riffle great. So yeah, this is a good cardstock. <laughs> this is probably the same cardstock as if you have, I know that this company did, um, what's the, the animal and plant deck that's really popular right now? I'll put it in the editing. I can't remember the name of it, but I know it's very, it's been very popular over the last few years, I'm, I'm guessing this is probably the same card shop as that, if you have that one. Um, I love the coating on these cards. It's nice. Makes it easy to use. Deep sleep. Resting and sleeping deeply. So they are numbered. There's a 35 here on the card. It makes it going to be really easy to find it. Just go by the numbers here and the numbers are here in the guidebook. So we have deep sleep, key concepts. Oh, I'll let you read it. If, if you prefer to read it for yourself, that's the entry. All right. Key concepts, sleep, resting, rejuvenation through deep rest. If you struggle with getting enough sleep or deep sleep, this card comes to you with the power to allow the sweet animal of your body to rest. Insomnia, stress, environment, children, pets, and other demands can keep us from having the deep rest that our body needs and craves. Allow this card to sink deep into your awareness as your body absorbs the intention of deep rest. Creative visualization. Close your eyes and imagine you are lying on the soft, softest, safest beach. The moon is glowing bright in the sky and reflecting on the calm water. Watch as your guides, 
gently surround you and sing to you as you drift off to sleep. Your body feels so heavy and at peace. A warm, heavy liquid flows through the top of your head. I wonder if, I'm not going to keep going, but um, I wonder, I'm wondering if there is, whenever there's a deck with these visualizations in it, I always wonder if they have like, a place where you can download somebody reading them to you because it's hard to do the visualization and read it from the guidebook at the same time. But what I have done um, is record it on my phone, record myself reading them on my phone out loud and then play it and do the visualization to myself reading it if I can't find a place where I can download the um, the actual like you know audio file, which I'm not seeing anything here. But if anybody knows anything about there being audio files for these visualizations, because each one has a visualization. So if anybody knows anything about there being audio files, let us know in the comments below. Um, but that's my suggestion. I've done that before. I've just recorded it and then played it back to myself so that it's hard to do it and read at the same time, right? <laughs> and it's and sometimes you can't remember what you read. So, But that there's a visualization. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. And then it says journal prompt. Try journaling with the part of you that wants to deeply rest. Ask it, how can you support it and what it needs? If there is a part of you that is resistant to the message of deep rest, ask, ask it what it would like to tell you and what it is feeling. So I think for me, say I pulled this card and I wasn't having any trouble sleeping. And my question was like, what do I need to know? Um, for my job interview today, and I wasn't having any trouble sleeping. <laughs> I might take this as sort of like, make sure that, you know, like say the job, if the job interview is today, I'm not going to take a nap before I go, right? So I might say to myself, well, maybe I need to make sure that I am feeling rested before I go. So I want to get there early and I want to maybe do a little meditation before I go so that I can rest my mind. I'm not going straight from driving or walking or taking the subway to getting to the interview. It is important that I take a beat before I go to my interview. You know, I would I would see it in that way, you know, and sometimes maybe this is about taking a beat as opposed to just actual sleeping. So I think that we can think of them a little bit outside of the box in that way as well. Um, yeah, I think this is, I think this is beautiful. I love the artwork. I think that the visualizations in the guidebook are a fun addition. And if I can find any audio files, I will definitely post where you can find them in the description box below. If not, like I said, I'll just be recording them myself <laughs> so that I can use them. This is going to be great for meditation work. Um, you know, if I want to pull one before I meditate, you know, I'll use this deck for maybe one month and, and pull a card every time I go to meditate and just record that visualization and use that visualization during my meditation practice. I think that's how I would use this deck. Um, it, that's the first thing coming to me about using this deck. I also think that this would be a really good deck for pick a cards, but if you're doing a reading for someone who does want to do some consciousness healing or some creative visualizations or just inspirational work, um, this would be a great deck for that, for that use as well. So I don't know about pairs. I don't have too many things in this art style. This would probably be my only thing, which <laughs> I guess will be a good reason for me to buy another tarot deck, right? <laughs> no, I will not. I think I have things in my collection. So I started with Mara Loon. This is the first thing that came to mind when I looked at the artwork. So let's try this one. This is something you can get from Game Crafters, or even I think you can buy this off of um, Make Playing Cards. And it is a soft sort of watercolory deck that gives me that self-love, self-healing vibe, I thought maybe they might go well together and the coloring is similar now the marloon has a lighter background while the healing the creative consciousness healing deck has a darker background but i like that because you know it gives you some contrast i think they look lovely together um yeah so this was yeah i had a feeling because marloon the color story in this deck 
is very similar to the color story in this one. It's just that the backgrounds are different. While this deck is happening mostly in what seems like a dayscape, this one is happening in what seems like a dreamscape or a nightscape, right? Um, so this could be your external and this could be your internal if you were doing one of those types of readings. So I like Marloon, definitely, definitely a contender. Let's see what else we got. This is the Wandering Star Tarot deck. Um, you can find this on Amazon or from Hay House. I'm just curious. It just, it's also fun and kind of, I don't know, just got a funky art style. And I thought maybe, um, I don't know. It's definitely, and I'm, I'm feeling this contrast. I think the lighter color is, makes the darker because there's a lot of dark space in this and the imagery seems small but if i i feel like if i put lighter colors on the outside it makes this darker space feel more liminal than just empty you know i don't know if that makes any sense but that's just kind of what i was thinking and yeah look at all of this starlight We've got stars here, we have stars here, and there's stars here. Yeah, I like this too. I like this as well. And it's fun. And if you wanted to do an inner child reading, they do seem both decks very storybook. So very good for inner healing. And and also this deck, the Wandering Star Tarot does um is good for inner healing work self-healing self-journey work and yeah so that's another reason that made me think these two might look nice or work nicely together and i think they will okay so that's another one let's see what else we got has to try my super lunaris tarot this is the spark edition you can get this on etsy um i love this deck and you know, if I'm going to be doing self-healing or consciousness healing work, I definitely have to integrate this deck. I know that the color story will match. So let's see how the artwork matches. Now, the Super Lunars is a photo collage deck. So I don't know. It might clash, but it might not. So let's see what we get. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Because they did kind of soften the photos in Super Lunaris to make it feel more like a painting than a photo, I think it's making it's making it less um, abrasive, right? And so that way it it fits closer to this soft style here, this chalk, uh, these chalk drawings. I keep wanting to call them chalk drawings or pastel drawings. I'm not sure what the medium is, but. They just feel very soft and like clouds, right? And this is very dreamy and as well. So I like this. And I would, this is what I would, if I was doing consciousness healing work, this is probably the deck I would use. So I had to see how they look together. And I'm not mad at it, although I think I do prefer the Mara Loon to this. So yeah. All right. So that is a Super Lunar Spark. This is the Penelope's Tarot. This deck is coming out. This is uh, from Rockpool, I think. I want to say Rockpool um, in a mini. So, you know, this is the full size, which I got from the creator site for just the same price as the mini. If she's still selling them, you might be able to still get it. But if you can't, uh, <laughs> you can get it um, in the mini soon it's coming out i saw it so uh, on amazon or wherever you buy your rock pool products the, the artwork is similar so i thought maybe these might go well um now the artwork from sam west is a little more sparse it's uh i don't want to call it sparse it's i don't know what the word is but the artwork here is more filled in it's there's more color 
in the imagery and more there's more filled in and this is almost like outlined with just a little color this is more i don't know what the word i'm looking for is but there's just more to it it's it feels heavier but i still like them together and the color stories are the same so and again the contrast kind of helps bring out the background color in this one and gives it meaning i feel like um yep it gives it somewhere to somewhere to exist i like this i like this a lot so if you have this deck in its indie form the bigger one the bigger one is closer in size to this deck but if you don't have the bigger one and you wanted to get that many like i said it's coming soon to amazon i'll try to remember to post links below but anyways i'll definitely be posting the link for this deck below where you can purchase it from the creators from the publisher site as well as the amazon affiliate link i am an amazon affiliate so i do uh, post amazon affiliate links below and if you want to purchase the deck i appreciate it if you would use them so that is the creative consciousness healing oracle for self-healing and self-care um yeah i think this is cute i like the i love the art and i like the people and the way that they've depicted them i think it's going to be interesting to take a look at the backgrounds a little bit deeper and see what else i can find there like i said there is almost um i don't know there's sort of a headiness to this a dream space that it lives in that i like and I, I'm interested in maybe using it for that sort of work, maybe dream work and stuff like that. But um, the visualizations in the guidebook are, they seem nice. I'm excited to try to, you know, utilize them and see how that goes. Use this in a meditative space or to, during med my meditation times. Yeah. So that's how I'll be using this. And if I do decide that I want to use it with a tarot deck, Penelope's tarot is looking pretty good. And also the Maraloons. I'm glad I found some pairs because I was a little bit nervous about that <laughs> because I was like, oh, no, I don't have anything with this art style. But this um, is, you know, it could just mean that I need to buy some more stuff with this art style because this art style is super cute. I really enjoy it. So I will leave you all with that. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel grow. If you want to see more from me, you can subscribe. I release videos every few days regarding tarot and oracle. Of course, I will put all of the links below where you can purchase this deck and any other deck that I have a link for. And until I see you next time, stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.